Okay, this is graphing trig functions in radian measure. I have a five-step process. Step one, mark up the equation. So this is a vertical shift. This is an amplitude. This is not my period, but it gives me my period. 2 pi divided by this b value is my period of 2, and this is a phase shift. Step two is label my y-axis. So these first two values affect my y-axis. So from 3, I go up 2 to 5, down 2 to 1. Step 3 is label my x-axis. This is not theta anymore. This is x because I'm in radians. x tells you radians. Theta is degrees. And these two values affect my x-axis. I start at 1, and I end 2 units later at 3. So the distance from here to here is my period of 2. Step 4, put in my critical points and my quarter points and look at the function. And step 5 is to check. So critical points, this is a sine graph. It starts in the middle on the y-axis. It ends. In the middle of the x is the middle of the y. At this quarter, it's at a high point. At this quarter, it's a low point. I connect the dots. And there's a sine graph. This is at 2. This is halfway between that, so this is 1 and a half, 2, 2 and a half, 3. And then let's pick a point like this one right here. Now, let me find one that's an integer, like 3. So if I pick 3, I plug it in here. 3 minus 1 is 2 times pi is 2 pi. Sine of 2 pi is an imaginary triangle of 0 over 1. So that's 0 times 2 is 0 plus 3 is 3. So at 3, my y is 3 and it works. So that's graphing trig functions in radian measure. The way you know it's radian, it's x instead of theta.